Hello everyone. Welcome to Tech Buddies and today we will show you how to install Volte support on your U Eureka Plus. Uh, please keep in mind that this is the Indian version that is Eureka 5510A. So let's start. There is an important folder, IMP folder given in the description below. Please download it. Inside it you will find three files. Uh, two of them are the drivers. Actually the PD, PDA net is the driver and uh, another is the minimal ADB and fast food. So you just have to install these two. And uh, the next thing is that you will have to keep in mind where the minimal ADB and fast food is installed. So please keep in mind the location. Uh, by default it is in the program files. So open it up and all you have to do is to paste this non hlos.bin file inside your minimal adb and fastboot file continue and it is very important that you put it inside the folder that is in the program files or wherever you have installed it okay so now let's move for the phone part uh, i will show you how to install it so this is the fast boot mode and you can access the fast boot mode by pressing the volume up button and connecting it to the pc and the next thing is uh, we will come back to the pc now and you will have to open this folder where you pasted the non hlos.bin file and now we will open the command prompt by double clicking this maf32 and uh, please do note that you will have to open MAF32 only and no other command prompt or anything else. So you will have to write a couple of commands here uh, because we are going to install the BIN file through fastboot. So let's type it in. Uh, first we will have to write fastboot minus I 0 X 1 EBF devices. So this is actually to uh, uh, check whether your phone is detected by the system that is the computer so yeah so as you can see there is a serial number along with fastboot written aside it that means your phone is detected if it doesn't come then you will have to install pdnet once again or because the uh, drivers are not installed properly uh, the another command which you have to write is uh, uh, this you will have to write uh, fastboot once again like fast boot minus i 0 x 1 ebf ebf and now flash modem space and yeah the important thing here is that you will have to copy the complete name as it is with extension uh, into the command prompt so please keep that in mind that you will also have to copy the extension that is non hlos dot bin otherwise it will not install. Now press enter. You can see that uh, the process is going on. Yeah, so it is finished. So now we will have to move to the phone again. Uh, this is actually uh, the process of installing the modem into your device through fastboot. So we will go to the phone now. Yeah, so I have uh, removed the USB cable from the computer and uh, now uh, I have rebooted it and then went to the recovery mode. And please note that you will have to install a custom reco recovery and your phone should be rooted before you do this. So I have installed TWRP. So the first thing uh, we need to do is to take a backup. Uh, so we will first take a backup, go and take a backup in the backup section, swipe to back it up. I have already taken a backup so I won't take one. Next thing is that you will have to wipe everything except internal storage and micro SD card. Everything except that should be wiped. So swipe it to wipe. Because uh, we are doing a clean install here so we will have to do the wipe. The next thing is that uh, keep the ROM file into your memory card or your internal storage and uh, just select it to install the CM14.1 ROM. 
I have kept it in files. So just navigate and swipe. This will install the CM14.1 on your Eureka Plus. And the next thing you will have to do is to uh, install the G apps. So we will go to the G apps wherever it is stored and just flash it. Um, sorry for the lag here. Actually, this was uh, uh, because of the rendering problem. So you will just have to swipe it and uh, it will be done. Yeah, so after that rebo reboot your system. Uh, the first boot will take time because if you are installing a custom ROM, uh, this is your first time you are installing a custom ROM, then it will take some time. So as you can see, this is the CM logo or the Cyanogen mod logo. So wait for some time. It takes four to five minutes to boot up uh, for new newer phones. I have already installed it. So I am just rebooting it for you. Yeah, so it is rebooted. So as you can see, this is Android 7.1. Uh, yeah, it comes with uh, Android Nougat, the latest version free installed in it. So as you can see, this is Android 7.1. This is for the confirmation. Yeah, so you will have to note that uh, as you can see in the status bar, uh, there is an HD. Uh, at the top left side that means your device is LTE capable and these are your settings new settings options as it is in Nougat uh, these new features like if I go to the menu and just long press on anything then you can see uh, multiple options this is a feature of Android N Now, if I go to Gmail and long press, then it sends an option to compose a mail. Yeah. Uh, so as you can see, there is devices HD capable. That means LTE is activated on your phone. V O L T E. Okay. So let's try and call someone. Okay. Let's call someone to check whether Volt is working or not. So I will just uh, dial a number here and then call it. Geo 4G. Yeah, so as you can see, I don't have to open any other app like Geo 4G online. Yeah, this is another phone to whom I am calling. The call should be coming up any minute. Yeah, as you can see, it has come. So this is successful. Okay, friends. So if you enjoyed this video, please like us and uh, please subscribe for more stuff. Thank you.